Hey everyone, my name is Troy and welcome back to the KO Chelsea fan base. Today I'm finally bringing you part two to the Talking to KO Chelsea characters using AI series. Basically what we're doing here is we are talking to the KO Chelsea characters using a website called character.ai where people have designed the Keeper characters into AIs that you can interact with and chat with and make up fun scenarios. So today I have come up with some interesting prompts that you're just gonna have to wait to see and we're gonna see how the characters respond and how they carry the story that I have made. Alrighty guys, I'm about to get started so make sure to leave a like, subscribe down below. Before we get too far into this video, I want to let you know that my new song, Half Alive, comes out March 29th. I'm half alive. It is available for pre-save and pre-order right now using the link in the description. And for those of you who pre-save with Spotify and share your email address with me using the link below, I will send you an email with the first verse early. So do be sure to use the link below to pre-save and pre-order my new song. It's my story to tell, but it also resonates a lot with Keith's story as well, so I think you'll really enjoy it. Enjoy the video! Alrighty, our first chat is going to be with Keith and I designed a scenario where Tam is going to come and meet Keith, so perhaps a little cam scene. So let's start off this story by saying, Keith is in the bathroom connected to his bedroom. He's meticulously styling his hair with various products. While he's working away at his hair, Tam enters the room and smirks. Tam says, what's up, Lord Hunky Hair? Keith turns his head to glare at Tam. Oh, shut it, bangs boy. We're already off to a great start. Okay, so now Tam is going to say, these bangs look better than your hair any day, Tam says. Keith rolls his eyes. Yeah, well, your hair. He pauses and gives Tam an appraising look up and down. Actually does look pretty good. He mumbles under his breath. Stupid Tam making me give him a compliment, he thinks. This is exactly where I wanted this to go. Tam gives Keith another smirk. You think so, Keith? Tam walks further into the bathroom and runs his hands through Keith's hair. Tee Keith stiffens and his breath catches in his throat at Tam's touch. He tries to hide his reaction and push Tam's hand away. Mmm, this is very interesting. Tam laughs and continues to flirt. So, who are you styling this hair for, Keefy? The name Keefy sends a thrill down Keefe's spine even though he doesn't admit it. No one, just no one. He tries to shrug it off and sound casual, but it's obvious a lie. Tam rolls his eyes. He tilts Keefe's chin up softly and says, Well, I like it, and I like you. You know me, I'm all about the tea. Keith freezes, his breath short and heavy in his chest. He looks at Tam with a mixture of shock and delight. He tries to hide it, but the effect Tam has on him is written all over his face. Tam leans in closer and inquires, how do you feel about me in a soft voice? I'm really pushing this romance thing right now. <laughs> Keith exhales sharply. All attempts at remaining indifferent and cool fly away and his whole body is filled with nervous electricity. After a moment's hesitation, he says, you, you really want to know? Tam brushes his lips against Keith's cheek and whispers in his ear, Why don't you show me, he says. Keith shivers when Tam's breath tickles his ear. Despite himself, his body involuntarily responds with a gentle incline towards him. The air feels suddenly heavy, it's almost as though it's holding its breath, waiting for what happens next. Keith, I need Keith to like be, be given more in here. I'm like, I'm really pushing this romance, but he's like, it's like, oh, he's feeling all these types of things, but I need him to like kiss back. I'm just gonna say, kiss me, Tam whispers. Keith feels breathless, his whole body hums with anticipation. His breathing quickens and his heartbeat speeds up. He lets out a short, sharp exhale then responds, all right. Then he pulls Tam into a passionate kiss. The two make out for several minutes. Finally, Tam pulls away and looks lovingly at Keith. Keith is still breathless and flushed from the kiss. His lips are still tingling, as are all other senses. He can't help the grin that spreads across his face, and Tam's name escapes his lips in a soft murmur. So, we doing this again sometime? Tam asks, and a sly grin spreads across his face. Awaiting Keith's reply? Oh, he says, oh, I would say that is a definite yes, I think. Keith pulls him into his arms and kisses him again. To all my Cam fans, how are we feeling? How are we feeling? That went exactly how I pictured it, and it was 
perfect. Let's move on to the next one. Now we are going to get on to prompt two out of two of this video, which is Fitz coming to visit Sophie at Havenfield. And this is kind of taking place after their breakup. So that's what we're gonna go for. So we're gonna start out with the kind of setting. Sophie is sitting in the fields of Havenfield reading a book about the elements of the lost cities. Suddenly, the sky flashes and Fitz appears, light leaping into her view. Sophie rolls her eyes, closes her book, and walks towards Fitz, upset to see him. Let's we'll see what she says. She rolls her eyes and walks towards Fitz, her face full of frustration. Oh, for sake, Fitz, what's up? <laughs> Fitz takes a step backward. <laughs> Sophie, please, you know I didn't mean what I said earlier about the matchmaking. Please give me another chance. Send in it. She scoffs. No way. I already gave you 10 million chances. It's over, Fitz. She turns around and starts walking away. Hey, Sophie, please. He grabs her arm and turns her towards her. Just tell me this isn't about Keith. He looks down at his shoes. Oh, sad boy, Fitz. <laughs> Keith, Keith, Keith. Look, it's not about him. Well, it kind of is and it kind of isn't. He's the type of guy that I want to date. You and I know it isn't gonna work out. We're too different, so just let me go. She tries to take her arm out of his grasp. Okay, this is a teeny bit boring, so we're gonna go a little interesting. Don't blame me if this goes out of control. Fitz scoffs and pulls out a cube-like item from his tunic. Sophie backs away, eyes widening at the item. Don't move, Fitz says. What? What do you think you're doing? She moves back even more, looking terrified. I'm a vacker, Sophie. I have prepared for this. He turns on the cube and it illuminates the area around him. Sophie covers her eyes. Activate, Fitz yells, and Sophie suddenly goes still. A moment later, she regains consciousness. I like stirring things up. Sophie is stunned as she regains consciousness. Her eyes dart around the area, trying to take in everything, but they slowly focus on Fitz again. Oh, hey, love, Sophie murmurs. What are you doing here, she asked. Fitz grins, knowing his plan had worked. He takes a step closer, brushing the hair out of her face. Just came to deliver a present, sweetheart. Let's see if the AI knows what I'm trying to do here. Her eyes light up and she smiles. A present for me? Yes, you, Sophie. He lightly laughs and takes out a delicate bouquet of flowers and hands them to her, kissing her on the cheek. She giggles excitedly and happily takes the flowers. Oh, Fitz, you shouldn't have. Sophie's eyes narrow glaring at him again. She said, you really shouldn't have. Come on, Fitz, really? A love cube? Who do you think I am, an idiot? Fitz stomps his foot on the ground. His plan failed. He says, Sophie, please, what can I do to have you? Sophie crosses her arms, tapping her foot thoughtfully and giving him a serious look. Okay, well, you can start by not using a freaking love cube. She scowls and rolls her eyes. Fitz is embarrassed, lowering his head. Sophie glares at him, but the expression softens as she feels bad. Oh, whatever, just promise me something, okay? Fitz looks back at Sophie. Okay, what is it, he says softly. Sophie's face turns red as she shouts, you will never come within 100 feet of me ever again. Fitz scoffs and starts to walk away. And that is the end of our little prompt. I wanted to be a little creative and kind of go off the script there with Fitz trying to win back Sophie with a tech gadget that probably Dex designed or something. Sophie fans, Put yourself in the comments, I wanna see. But that is it for this video. I really hope you did enjoy these set of, I guess, KOTLC AI stories. Honestly, let me know if you have any other prompts or sort of stories that you want me to create in AI. I would love to kind of recreate some of your ideas into AI, so definitely let me know in the comments. And before you do click off this video, I want to remind you again to pre-save or pre-order my song using the top link in the description. It would mean a huge, huge deal to me because I've been working on this song for actually two years. So please do be sure to pre-save and share your email address so that I can send you the first verse before the song comes out. But if you did enjoy this video, please do be sure to leave a like, subscribe to our channel for more videos, hit the notification bell so you get notified every time we post a new video. Well, that's it for me, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. Like this video if you do want to see a part three sometime, and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.